morning everyone and in case you haven't uh, realized we're at goodwood for the festival of speed and harvey's here so paul harvey very kindly um had a spare ticket that came up for the friday so we're up here on the friday the weather's cloudy i think i'm a little bit uh positive energy with the sunnies yeah and optimistic. um we're gonna go have a look around we're gonna vlog a bit about what's going on what are you looking forward to seeing paul uh, obviously not been here before at all, so first time for me, but obviously looking to see what's going up the, uh, up the, up the run. A lot of noise already interesting me. We've got some grandstand tickets, a little bit of hospitality at lunchtime and breakfast. So yeah, just everything really, I think. Right, let's crack on. The first thing that struck me when I came into this um, <laughs> festival was just the size of the place. You take one look at the map and it's huge. But we've just got to the Porsche Cafe and the Sour Pool. Full English breakfast, I think, would be rude not to, wouldn't it? Definitely would be rude not to. There's a lot of walking to go today. I'm looking forward to many things, but I like historic race cars. I want to look at some Group C sports cars. I want to look at some old touring cars. What about you? Uh, yeah, so just seen the BMW E30 M3, uh, classic German touring car go up. Uh, that sounded pretty good, didn't it, to be honest? I did. Um, and some of the older cars. And the first uh, US cars actually just spilt most of its guts up the hill with a blown engine. So not a good start to Friday for them. Uh, hopefully their mechanics will be able to get on it, but we'll see how we go. I hope so. That was the old Richard Petty uh, Plymouth, which, if anyone would know, it's iconic for its blue colour and its wing. And it was really a groundbreaker for NASCAR. But yeah, sadly, that's gone up to the hill and um, shed its guts. Time for breakfast. So we've had breakfast and we're just on our way to meet Jason on the Land Rover stand because where else would Jason be, right? Somewhere, always, yeah. He's brought the Hampshire hog as well, so he's gonna earn a few quid from turning people out later. All the new stuff though, yeah, it doesn't really. Yeah. However, I do like an old Land Rover. This is quite cool. The proper defenders, the proper discoveries, the proper Range Rovers. So we've met Jason as well, and we're just having a little wander around with some friends. Um, and we're down near the Goodwood start line, so I want to see some stuff go up the hill. Let's have a look. All the corners on the hill climb. Now, how do you like your Fords? Whatever shape would you like? Do you like a Ford Raptor? And I tell you what, would you also like Carlos Sainz Senior? World Rally Champion many times over and an absolutely phenomenal exponent of off-road rally now. <laughs> making the most of the entry into the first corner. And when one considers comparing the performance of this car and the radical behaviour it can offer versus the Toyota Celicas in which he really cut his teeth on the World Rally Championship stage. Coming up to Molkham on the right-hand side of the track, he'll cut the inside corner got a great view of the red arrows just behind that tree <laughs> so we're going for a little helicopter ride above festival speeds and uh let's just let's just have a look at paul's phone he's just telling the racers lounge we've got to buy one extra seat because um Fat boy here is a bit too heavy. We're gonna have a little helicopter ride above the Festival of Speed and have a look at it from the air.
Lovely little detour over the festival speed, taking everything in. Now for some more cars. To see our uh, friends at EBC. So we've seen So we've seen some cars. We're just sat in one of the grandstands now. We've been over at one of the corners and we've seen the bikes as you would have seen and we've seen some of the F1 cars. What's your thoughts so far? Yeah, it's been a great day so far. We're just working it all out. We've had a uh, very nice hospitality, but that's not the priority. Good look around the paddock, seeing your uh, good friends at EBC Brakes, good friends at Mission Motorsport, that was yeah. nice to see as well. Uh, we've just seen all the Formula One cars come up, so that was classic. The V8s, the V10s, still the best sounding cars has ever been, in my opinion. Second that. And now we're just about to see some speed light, uh, time runs up the hill, so all good so far, and the weather's been just held off, no rain, been quite nice. What about you? It's just kept off. I think the time runs will be good. I'm going to go for Jake Hill on the skyline. I don't know really, mate. Uh, McLaren normally pulls something out, don't they? The Solus last year, that electric car is looking very rapid again this year. Although the corner where we are, just over there, is looking very slippery. So I don't know if they're going to set equally uh, sort of run record times today. But it doesn't matter, it's all good. Practice. Makes perfect. Exactly that. Right, let's watch some track action. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
So some fun timed run practices. Paul's headed off. We're having a walk around the paddock. Let me show you finally some of the cars in this paddock. Some beautiful cars, some historic racing cars. And then we'll leave it there, shall we? Well film.